nice to see you again. Good to see you. You're always so fun to talk to. Oh, normally. Normally? Sometimes. Normally fun to talk to? Sometimes. Well, listen, you, you, you've got, uh, you've got big news. You've got a new baby. I have a new baby, how yeah. Old, well, how old is your baby now? Three months. Three months. That's a, that's a new baby. Screaming backstage right now. He's like, where are you going? We'll use that as the commercial bumper. Now, <laughs> you were last here in February of uh, 2016. Okay. Much has changed. Yeah. Much has changed since then. Yes. Um, you, you were politically active in the o in the Obama campaign mm -hmm. back in the day. Mm -hmm. um, big supporter of our previous president. If this president called and asked for your help mm -hmm. to make this a better country, <laughs> Commander Chief and said, "Eva Longoria, I need your help to uh, to 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 make this a better world." Right. Would you Would you say yes? Would you help him? Uh, yes, yes. Okay. I think he it's needs. It's hard to say no to the president. It's hard to say no to your country. Yeah. You know, it's you have to take up that responsibility. I actually had that fear he was going to call. Uh... <laughs> A lot of women do. <laughs> no, I didn't mean meaning like, oh my God, you know, I I, I didn't vote for him. Um, but then I, I thought about it too, and I was like, you know, if I was called to to do some sort of good for the country, of course I would try to educate him specifically on on the Latino community and, mm -hmm. and the issues that we face and mm -hmm. I think I think I could be of great help yeah sure I would think if you tried to educate him he may not be at the head of the class at the end of that <laughs> right well um, you founded something called the Latino Victory Project to help yes. Hispanic candidates run for office mm -hmm. would you would you run for political office yourself oh no no. <laughs> really? And I, listen, I, no. I, a lot of people ask, uh, ask you know, you actors this. if, sometimes they ask me. Yeah. But, um, Would they, you? What? Would you? No. <laughs> no. Because I've said things on camera with a straight face that would make a terrible political ad. Ad against you, yeah. <laughs> against me. Yeah, against yeah. me. No, but, but here's the thing is that I've interviewed a lot of politicians. Right. Tons of congressmen, governors, senators, presidents. You are one of the best informed guests that I've ever Aww. spoken to. The very first time I spoke to you at the old show, at the old show I walked yeah, yeah. off and I went, I wish, I wish the congressman I talked to in Better Know a District knew the issues like you did. Oh, thank How you. did you educate yourself to the issues that concern you? Uh, I understand you have, a, you have a master's? I have a master's in Chicano studies. Which okay. Is, yeah. Um, but, you know, I don't think it's hard to educate yourself uh, when you're living this life. You know, I'm, I'm a woman, so women's issues mean a lot to me because of my experience every day. I'm a, I'm a Latino, so the way the world interacts with me um, is a direct um, um, result of, you know, am I literate on these topics or not? Is, is Yes, I have to be I, for survival. So you, you, you grew up in Texas, correct? Texas, yeah. Texas. I'm a Texican. Where, you're a Texican? Yeah. <laughs> uh, where, where, where in Texas again? Corpus Christi. Okay. Yeah. Now, you know, raised Catholic? Yes. Raised Catholic? I, I haven't been to confession in forever. We do we do uh, midnight confessions on the show very often. And <laughs> I don't know if that counts as official no, absolution from the I, audience. But did you no, did I had you to, did you confess as a child? Um, that was hard for me as a yeah, kid. Yeah, no, you know, I, I I remember I had to before communion. Yeah. Um, before you got your communion. You're like six or seven, something like yeah, that. Yeah, I was like eight, yeah. I think it was eight. And, a little and late. late. A little late. I'm a late sure. communioner. Yeah. Uh, and I remember going into the booth and he was like, uh, you know, I forget what he said, but, you know, confess your sins. And I said, I don't have any. And I knew, and I knew I did. I had stolen bubble gum from the store. What? I had I had done some stuff. Yeah. And I said So you will spend some some time at least in purgatory. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. But no, I left that I left the booth and then I, the next day I was confirmed and as I was at the altar I was like cuz I really thought I was going to get struck by lightning or something cuz I lied. I lied to the priest. I, bo I, of course, was like every kid. I'm nervous before I did my first Holy Communion. They all had us in line on the pews out front before I wanted to talk to the priest. Yeah. And, and I came out, like, sweating. <laughs> and I sat down next to Billy Campbell. And Billy turns to me and goes, you yelled your confession. <laughs> what did you do? Well, I was so nervous. I was like, oh, forgive me, Father. And everyone heard everything I confessed. <laughs> I don't remember what it was, but I remember they oh, all knew what Catholic. it was. You were good Catholic. You confessed what? it. You were good Catholic because you confessed it. Yep. About yeah. the last. It's been a while. Yeah. It's been a while. I was six, so it's been about 48 years. Now, <laughs> uh, you know, I always like if, 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 
when, when I have an, an actor on the show, I, I sometimes like to find out, what did you do, what was the, the sort of the dirty job you were doing before you hit oh, as, as a performer? Because I did a lot of things. I made futon frames. I did of course, I was a too, waiter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that. What, what, what was it you did? I was never a waiter, because uh, I wasn't good at that. But I... Um, I you was... weren't good as a waiter, but um, why wouldn't you be good as a waiter? You... I, I don't like people. <laughs> so... That makes um, it hard. That makes it yeah, hard. I yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm selective about the people I like. But <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But no, I, I was a headhunter when I was when I moved to Hollywood. I was a headhunter, so I was like a recruiter, and I would find people jobs, and it was it was I was really good at it. A headhunter, so yeah. So, so I'd find people jobs. Like I'd interview like a candidate, and then I'd match make them in, uh, for a job. If this doesn't work out for me, what what how yeah. would, what would you match? What would you would you, uh, you match me with a new career? I, you don't have a lot of skills. So. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I, don't. I, I mean, applicable. I applicable. Applicable skills. skills. No, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. No, you are a performer. I can drive stick. I can drive stick. You're a performer. I'm a performer, yeah. He's a performer, so you could be... Uh, a waiter. The, the press secretary for the White House. <laughs> That'd be good. Ready to serve. <laughs> Now you uh, you 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 uh, you act, uh, you direct, you executive produce, mm -hmm. you do it all. You speed skate. I'm gonna say, <laughs> um, you're executive producing a, a new documentary called Reversing Roe. Yes. Now, uh, Roe versus Wade is is an issue that's a perennial, but especially in the news right now because one of the things that people say is that Kavanaugh is being oh, dishonest okay. about his position on Roe, and that this is a long 40-year uh, project in order to put someone from the Federal Society on the bench to overturn Roe. Yeah. The, what, what does the documentary deal with? What, 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 well, what is it trying to explain? The documentary is a, is a is comprehensive history of, of Roe v. Wade. A lot of people think they know what it is, but, mm -hmm. but not really. And so it's a really unbiased look. It's, it talks to both sides, pro-choice, pro-life. Um, and it really it, it tells you how we got here, um, the, history, the history of Roe, and then how we got here, and, and kind of where we're going, and how now this abortion issue uh, has become from a, gone from a personal issue to a political issue. Issue, and it's just a linchpin topic for elections specifically. Mm -hmm. So um, you'll see in the documentary. Well, it was pretty political and pretty divisive even in the 70s. I mean, I mean I'm yeah. old enough to remember mm -hmm. the marches right after Roe was legalized. Right. So it, it's been divisive for a long time. Well, and that's something they say in the documentary. A lawyer said uh, the fight wasn't to get the right; it's to hold on to the right. And that was very. That's been their struggle since since then. We, we have a clip here. Do you know what we're about to see? Yeah, or? it's actually the explanation. A lot of people don't even know who Roe or Wade is. Okay. So, so they think this clip tells you about that. Jim, but... let's uh, let's do the basics. Yes. <laughs> and we had a woman who was already pregnant, who didn't want to be, and she didn't want her name public. So we thought, well, John Doe, Jane Roe. And Henry Wade was the district attorney in Dallas. And it was clear that so many women were affected by this issue. And there were thousands of women who had had illegal abortion, who had done their own abortion. And so we filed a class action to say that this is a case for all women who are or might become pregnant and want the option of abortion. And this is available now on Netflix? It's on Netflix now, and it's, um, it, like I said, it's unbiased. It's, an, it's, a, it's educational. It's not an advocacy documentary. It's, um, and I think it's super important, specifically now, with the Kavanaugh hearings and everything that's happening with um, women's health rights. And that's really what this is about, our, our, our right to, to our own bodies, which is, which is the definition of democracy. Well, <laughs> lovely to see you again and have an informed conversation as always. <laughs> Reversing Row is available on Netflix. Eva Longoria, everybody. We'll be right back with Damon Wayne.